Hi, this is Russ from Production Expert, and I've got a copy of the CLA, the Chris Lord Algae Base, and this is part of a collection of plugins he has created which make getting great sounds pretty straightforward and pretty simple. And on this occasion, I've got the, the base one. I just want to show you in action and show you what the things do and how easy it is to get a great sound. So left to right, you've got the input gain here and input sensitivity with a meter and an output on the right there with a, a meter. So you can match the two. And so when you're doing some A-B testing, you can make sure that you haven't got a volume increase or a decrease, which could affect the way that you perceive the improvement or the the lack of improvement, so they're good to have. Then you have a bass section, a treble section, a compressed section, a subsection, a distortion, and a pitch. Basically, uh, the bass allows you to uh, alter the, the bottom end of the sound up to the upper mids, and then the next section, which is the treble, uh, you have what they call honk, bark, or cut, and we'll see those in a section. Then you have the compressor, which is push, spank, or wall, all great sounds. Then you have a sub you can turn on and off as well, a bit like using the REM bass, actually, so it's quite nice that that's built into this as well. Uh, so two for the price of one, almost, so the subsection. And then you have the distortion, which gives you growl, roar, or rip. And then you have chorus, wide, and spreader. And so all those sections. So let's have a look at how these affect a bass. I've got a, a sort of rock bass guitar sound here. So let's put the bass end in first. So we'll try the sub first. And this is where you can start making some changes to account for any differences in the gain straight away. You can go to upper, sub or lower. And the great thing about it is you can be pretty extreme with it. And I want to make kind of a, a nice dirty sort of rock bass. So I'm going to get the distortion module on now, go for raw. I B that again. some sub in now. I'm going to try the lower instead. Oh, that's better. Let's compress it a bit as well now. Spank it. A wall is really crushing everything, so... Put some bite into it as well. You can hear that now, really biting. There's the original. You can hear it, it makes a heck of a difference. Just drop the drums for a second. Bypass it. Let's put some chorus in as well. Now we're using this on a mono, of course if you used it on a stereo it would really start to push that out. And we could do that quite straightforward, we could just bring that in. Put it on a send instead, let's turn it off there, put it here now. You can hear that now, really spreading it out, I'm going to put that into pre-fade. Spreads it right out now. Put the sub in again. There's my original. Can you really hear that working now? Some more mid in as well. Some more bite. Compress it a bit more. Mix 
can really transform the bass. That's all there is to it really. So if you want something that's a pretty easy way of getting a great sound, then check this out, especially on bass because it's got some really, really great features. I've shown you on a rock bass, it will work on all sorts of bass. Check it out and uh, see you again soon. Thanks for watching.